Joe Biden or Donald Trump? Who do I want to be the next president of the United States of America? Well, guys, before we start, I know what you're thinking. You're probably telling yourself, why should I even listen to this guy? He's not even American. And you know what? You are 100% right to think that because you are right. I'm not American. I'm actually an Israeli. And I'm not even a Jew. I'm actually a Druze. I don't know if you ever heard about this. It's a very small religion, ethnical group that lives in the Middle East. Uh, quite secret. Uh, but that's the story for another time. Or just Google it and you'll find out about it. The reason I'm saying this right now, the reason I choose to talk about the U.S. election, which is coming in a few days, it's because it is something that is important for me. And I'll explain why. Now, I know you probably want to click and maybe move to another video. You're more than free to do that. If you want to go watch, I don't know, Instagram cat videos or anything else, more than free. But if you would give me a little bit of your time, I might be able to give a convincing argument and maybe a little bit pearls of wisdom. A little bit. I would like to use a very cool story that I heard and found very, very affecting, for me at least. The story is about an actor, a famous one that I really like. His name is Denzel Washington. And he was one time interviewed on the way to some kind of an award, I think. And he had a reporter that came to him and asked him a question and told him, hey, did you hear what they said about you? Uh, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. So um, it's kind of getting late right now. So I'm going to go and brush my teeth. And how about while I'm brushing my teeth, you can keep watching that video and then we can continue when I'm back. Right, so just a lot of buzz about fake news. You were the subject right of the back. fake news story. Oh yeah, what they say? I was running for president. No, 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 no I voted. No, what they say? You switched your support. I switched. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What do you make of all the fake news? Did it affect If you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you do read it, you're misinformed. Hmm. So what do you do? That's a great question. <laughs> what is the long-term effect of too much information? One of the effects is the need to be first, not even to be true anymore. So what a responsibility you all have to be, to tell the truth, not just to be first, but to tell the truth. We live in a society now where it's just first. Who cares? Get it out there. We don't care who it hurts. We don't care who we destroy. We don't care if it's true. Just say it. Sell it. Anything you practice, you'll get good at, Inclu including BS. You told me last time. <laughs> okay. But you heard me? Does that make sense? You heard the guy, much wiser than me, he just said it. If you don't listen to the news, you're uninformed. But if you listen to the news, you're misinformed. So what should I do? Because I, I like to, see, to think of myself as a pretty convincing guy. And the reason for that is, well, you know, I hope I am. Back in my previous life when I was in the Special Forces, I also did some time as a negotiator. Uh, and hopefully if you're negotiating, you should be able to be a bit convincing. Otherwise, you're really bad at your job. But he, here's the deal, guys. I love America. America is a great country. As a matter of fact, I find myself many times traveling around the world in Africa, in the Middle East, in Europe, in North and South America, and many places. I end up going into events, social events, and there's people having these bar-style bar conversations. And whenever they're talking about America, many times I find people just bashing out America and hating America. And not once, not twice, I found myself actually standing for America and coming and telling these guys, and maybe that was not the wisest thing to do in certain parts of the world, but I still did it. And I said, you know what, guys? You can say many things about America, good or bad, but every country have good things and bad things, some more, some less. But there's a few things that you can't take from America. If it wasn't thanks to America, we as planet Earth, the entire world right now, might have been living under the regime of Nazi Germany or Russia. And these are very scary and not so pleasant regimes to live on, at least in my opinion. So I'm glad America intervened there. And you can't take that from them, helped save the world as we know it now. America have gr had great achievements. You know, they put the first man on the moon. Thanks to them, we have Apple, uh, social media, Instagram, Facebook, great movies, at least to my opinion. Some might not agree with that, but that's not what I'm talking here. I, I didn't come to tell you here about movies. 
what bothers me, and lately I've been seeing it more and more, and honestly, almost every election, I see it happening and it's getting worse and worse, is the division that I see in America between the Democrats and the Republicans, you know, between the, the left and the right. I kind of use the wrong hands here. But anyway, looking at my social media, you know, I can't help but being bothered by it. It actually makes me sad. I see so many people making so many posts that if you vote for him, then you must be a racist, you must be a bigot, you must be a Nazi, or if you vote for him, then you're a baby killer, then you, you, you don't care about family and values, and I don't know what, and, and they're trying to take it into a religious place, uh, and a political place, and many times, and these things, what they're doing, is they're taking a lot of good people, and because there is the extremes who are polarizing, they're kind of dividing, and I see how it's dividing more and more and more, rather than focus on this, which this, if you ask me, that's us. That's the majority. That's actually a good illustration. That's like a PowerPoint for the poor. But you see, they're taking it there, but we should focus about this, not about these guys. We should focus about bringing that together. And I don't see social media doing that. I don't see the news. I don't see politicians doing that. But that's, to me, spoiler alert, guys. I'm not going to be talking too much about politics here, although it's a post video about politics, but I don't do these things in my vlogs. I care much more about unity than about Donald Trump or Joe Biden. That's not what I care about. And this to me is much more important, have this unity. But that's what's happening. Social media, news companies, for some reason are choosing, instead of focusing their attention and effort to let us see the importance of unity and how beautiful it is, they're putting their, their, their camera on these matters, the extreme. And whatever you see on your screen, on your phone, in the television, you can't deny it, it makes you feel something. We're programmed that way. If you see a video of a baby smiling, smile. you smile, it's very natural. If you see a video of someone very sad crying, it makes you sad, emotions are there. And the more the media focus on these things, the more it makes us feel something about it, the more it makes us think about it. That's how it works, that's how psychology works, that's how brain is programmed to work. And I find out that them focusing on that is not very good. It's actually damaging. It makes you think that the other side is a lunatic or the other side is insane or evil. And that's what these guys want. Because you see, if they want to get elected, it's not good for them that you're close to each other. Then they might lose votes. So it's actually much better if I start pulling people away and then I can point and say, see, if you vote for me, we're gonna fight them. We're gonna stop them because they're evil, they're lunatics, they're maniacs. Or if you vote for me, we're gonna stop them because what they're doing is devastating and damaging. And there might be some truth in these extremes, but the thing is how much truth and how much important it is compared to what's doing, the damage of dividing. And th that's why I care, and that's why I'm choosing to do these videos, guys. Because I have a lot of friends in America. And actually I have good friends, they're really, really good. I have amazing friends in America. If I look at my circle of friends, I've been very, very blessed. Every one of my friends is a very successful person. And I'm not talking successful financially, some of them are. I'm talking they're smart, they're kind, they're creative, they're good parents, good husbands, they're just good people. I can put hand in my heart, I can put, I can come and tell you right now, I don't have any Nazi friend. I don't have any friends who want to kill babies. I don't have any friend who's a racist. I actually have good friends. So wait a second. If, if I know good people in America, and I think I can positively say that about half of my friends are Democrats and half of my friends are Republicans. And none of them is crazy, none of them is bad. So how come when you watch this, you see these posts that people are putting, what's going on here? How, how is that happening? And that's what bothers me, guys. And that's why I want to talk today about this in this video. I want to talk about unity. And I want to talk maybe about important things that we can do to improve that unity. One of them, and probably the first one that I can think of that comes to mind is maybe we should all just take one step back and just not let social media consume us. Maybe listen less to the news. And maybe just go outside, visit some friends. Invite people, go to a beer, go to a coffee, go eat a vegan salad somewhere, whatever you want to do, go eat a shawarma, call me when you do that. But maybe we should do that rather than just all day long get consumed and be polarized to these extremes and start fearing or hating the other group. Because it's very easy to hate him who you do not know. See, but that's why for me, and I'm quite proud of it, 
uh, if someone comes and tells me all these people are crazy, you know, all the gay guys are bad, or all the Americans are bad, or, or the black, or the white, I come down, what are you talking about? I know these people. I have American friends. I have gay friends. I have black friends. I have white friends. I know these people personally. Good friends. You can't lie to me. You can't come and generalize and tell me they're bad or crazy because I know them. And that's what I want to encourage. I'm not trying to boast you. All right. Well, let's see. We're good. <clears throat> so for some reason, my phone decided to die on me and stop recording. Maybe it's giving me a hint that I'm talking for too long, so I'll try to make this short. Or maybe I just, uh, no, maybe I kind of just spoke for about four minutes to myself. So back to what I was saying. I'm not trying to boast. I'm not trying to impress you guys and show what a cool person I am and how many good friends I have. What I'm trying to say is that maybe instead of focusing on the people who are trying to divide us, let's focus on what's uniting us. That's the message that I'm trying to give here, especially to my American friends, especially in these coming days, because I know that these days have a tendency to divide people more. That's not a good thing. And to show my support, actually, I chose today to wear my only two items in the room that are completely American. Well, maybe aside from my Nike shoes. And this is a Maryland shirt that I have. Uh, and it was given to me by good friends from Maryland that once came to cruise with me on their honeymoon. And then we went to Jamaica and I kind of dropped them in Jamaica and I kind of forgot them in Jamaica for about two weeks. But I think they had a great honeymoon. Well, they kind of told me. So thanks, guys. I love this shirt. And this hat is from Texas. It's actually a hat given to me by friends who have their own business for cigars in Texas. Now, I'm not trying to make a commercial here for Maryland, Texas, or cigars. That's a different story. What I'm trying to say is I was Googling and I kind of found out that Maryland is more of a Democrat kind of oriented country and Texas is more Republican. And just showing guys, I, I love all Americans. I don't care if you're left or right. This message is for you. And I really hope that I was able to lay my case in a convincing manner. At least about that. I don't care who you vote for. That's not my business. That's up to you. And I really hope you do vote because that's an important thing to do. And guys, that's what I wanted to finish with. That's the message that I have for my American friends. Yeah. <sighs> it's so difficult. To make a video about politics you're just so cautious not to offend someone but that is part of the problem maybe we became too easily offended by different ideas and that's a no good it is just it's becoming so hard to find a proper source of media there's so many propaganda behind it there's so many powers playing you know at play here trying to choose what to show you because there's a reason behind it a political reason a religious reason an economical reason etc etc and you as the viewer need to be very very careful and responsible because like i said these things trigger emotions deep in us and trigger our thought process and make us come to conclusions which many times are not based on the proper fact or on the bigger picture and sometimes it's more important to understand the bigger picture and to see it for how it is rather than to be played by these ones and resulting in getting further from one another or hating people that should not be hating because they might be good people like I said. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, good luck with the elections. And until then, God bless you. Bye bye. Lito. Salam alaikum. Salami. Um, Das Vedania, Bidenzei, and yep, I really should learn how to say goodbye in Chinese, especially since I'm still locked on a ship in Asia.